What's up, YouTube? Let's make another prediction check. This one for the Brazilian Grand Prix. And I'm gonna close over a lot of predictions because I've already talked about them in detail. Four teams winning races. It's still mathematically possible if someone other than the top three wins the um, race in Abu Dhabi, but it's pretty much impossible. But we have to wait until Abu Dhabi to finally cancel that point. As for Honda, we already know they have more power unit components used than anybody else. And well, no, no one new had any engine penalty, so that's 17 so far. And yeah, we have 17, so even if we ignore the Williams, which we're not going to, we, we could already have the points. But yeah, Bottas is before the moment with Max Verstappen catching him as fast. Max Verstappen, as you may know, is having an excellent run in the last few races, and there's a great possibility, I reckon, that he could overtake Valtteri Bottas and finish before in the um, Drivers' Championship with Bottas finishing in P5. Mercedes winning in Mexico? Well, they won the Drivers' Championship and they won the Constructors in Brazil, so point for that. And even though Daniel Ricciardo had a clean weekend for the first time since Italy, it is pretty well known that Red Bull are already um, looking forward to the partnership with Honda. And Silverstone did not save the British Grand Prix, unfortunately, so chances are the 2019 will be the last one year race winner. I'm counting Max Verstappen in Mexico because it's the first time that he wins for the pure reason of being the fastest in that particular race. And since there's nothing else to go over just yet, 12 and a half after 25, half that predictions board, and as of my prediction board, that Fernando Alonso with his drastic kick reference made by Formula 1 a few months ago on YouTube. As of the top list picture, there's nothing to, there's, there's no case in recounting, but I'm going to post a video of compilation of those subless pictures at the end of the season. The Brazil very much had a first up drama, his Ericsson having a touch with one of the passes, and that brings the total to 17 races with first lap drama, so yeah. Back in the grid twice, well, Bremer Hartley has been set the back of the grid total of five times, so, point. Verstappen was dropping a day in Brazil for the third time in a row, and as I recall, it's, it's the first time in the season that somebody gets dropping a day three times in a row. And it is mathematically impossible for him to get eight, which is the minimum required for this for the over one third prediction to be cancelled. So you can count that as being confirmed. Sorry, I will update that. By Abu Dhabi, I had a little trouble there. Um, we had this very stupid maneuver by Max where he steered directly into Esteban Ocon after um, having a mistakeless run from Canada to Mexico. And in fact, all the way to qualifying in Brazil and up to lap 43 in Brazil, but at lap 44 he made this mistake, which for me counts for a bonus point. So yeah, and uh, Brazil didn't have any problems with pit stops, which brings the total up to 16. 
just us, we just the same as after Mexico. So, yeah, that's the last prediction we're gonna go over. That's 21 over 21 out of 25, which is great. That gives us a total of 33.5 out of 50 and the um, prediction vote for the season as a whole and at the um, 22.5 from the um, prediction vote for the Mexican Grand Prix specifically and that gives us a total of, 20, of 55 out of 75 and we're gonna do some extra bonuses for lines after the season has ended and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix for another prediction check and yeah have a good one